Howdy everyone, welcome to Joe Is, and I am Joe, and this is War on the Sea. Now we will continue our mission to defeat the Japanese in World War II, at least in the Pacific Theater anyways, um, we will do our best. Uh, just wanted to let y'all know on the channel, this is Future Me, as we upload uh, the Hornet and her group full of supplies, that... All the requests that y'all have been asking for are coming, not in this episode, but the next. Uh, I usually record these in batches, and it's been like four weeks since I've actually had to record gameplay. So I've basically just been uh, editing these and getting them up. But all those features, including the, the torpedoes, dudding, and the uh, game tactics and hints and tricks that y'all have all been uh, spreading to me, will be implemented in the next episode. So I also want to say thank you for all the, the advice and kind words that y'all have all had, and I want to uh, also thank the flux of in-sub subscribers and, and views, and that's amazing, guys. I really appreciate it. Couldn't do it without y'all. But anyways, future me is going to back out, and uh, old me is going to come back. Well, we'll go ahead and finish up loading these and head the Hornet back to New Hebrides. No, New Hebrides. Rennell. Jesus, will I ever get that right? I don't know. Anyways, I will cut back when there is something to report. Well, it is August 29, 1942, and it looks like the Enterprise has come under submarine attack. Now, I've encountered a bug with submarines. For whatever reason, they do not shoot torpedoes at me. I thought maybe they were just out of torpedoes, but then I went to the custom game and basically set up an aircraft carrier sitting still surrounded by submarines and none of them fired and so I, therefore i know that the, all the subs have torpedoes but they're not firing so being that that's pretty boring just watching me chase a sub down and it's not very good gameplay i will go ahead and cut this part out unless y'all want me to leave it in but it's just not very entertaining it's no there's no threat but if the sub does attack i will leave it in but it, I, it's been this way for several several weeks and I'm waiting for a patch I thought we had this last update here a little while back that we'd get it but uh, so far no joy anyways I will be back to the main map if nothing else happens well technically that was one notch for the enterprise enterprise enterprises group I'm not gonna count it as such because it wasn't very uh, sporting but technically it was a notch. Anyways, I will cut back when there's something else to report. It is August 30th, 1942, and I'm glad I sent out a flight of some B-17s because on the return trip, they found a surface fleet. We'll go ahead and engage them with the uh, bombers, but let's go ahead and get some... I think we go torpedoes here. Yeah, let's do torpedoes. The Avengers fly a little slower than the Dauntlesses, so maybe we can get a joint attack group going up on this fleet here. But the B-17s are not going to be able to stay in range for long, so we will go ahead and get them set up on a bombing run. I will cut back after I have targeted all these ships up. Alright, all the B-17s are queued up on attack runs. Basically what I decided to do was use two B-17s per uh, convoy ship until we had none left to, to target with. And let's see what happens. Give a little aerial view of the uh, potential threats. It looks like only one of them is actually making evasive actions. There's more turning now. I guess they're just a little slow on the draw. Hopefully, we'll get some good uh, hits on these guys, but I don't know if we mm -hmm. are. Well, dang it. We ain't getting one with him. Godspeed, pilots. Godspeed. Here we go. That's two misses, but... Oh, that's a direct hit. Right down her stack. 
That's a big bomb. Another direct hit. And we didn't get a direct hit on that far uh, freighter there, but just hitting so close, she was actually able to get some sort of fire damage on board. But uh, I will cut back when I have something more to report on these ships. Well, I got some good news, ladies and gentlemen. I got some bad news. I think you just heard the good news. But the bad news is that first uh, freighter that took the damage that wasn't direct uh, did manage to get her fire under control. But that just leaves us with one freighter left that's still ablaze that may go down. Being that she took a hit directly on her like that, I don't see how she comes away from that because these bombs were big. That's 2,000 pounds. We dropped a car full of the boom powder literally down her, her stack. I, I just, she shouldn't make it. But, you know, this, it's war on the sea. You never know. But uh, I will cut back when and if she decides to do something interesting. Well, I was correct. It was enough. One good hit on her stack like that, and she's Dunsey. So, good start of the day. We have taken down two freighters for the loss of one B-17. God rest their souls. They paid for the price of blood, but we got them. At least two of them. <clears throat> we got the USS Hornet, who has already sent up a flight of torpedo bombers and hopefully the Dauntlesses can join them soon enough and we can get a joint strike group on them and really wreak havoc. But I will cut back when all this is in motion. Go ahead and get these flight inbound and positioned. Well crap, I was trying to get a dual attack going but uh, some zeros appeared have decided that they want to uh, come out and play. So we're gonna have to preemptively strike. We're not gonna get our hammer and anvil strike like we'd I love to do, but that's just not gonna happen. Let's go ahead and have these guys hit the deck as soon as they come out. Find out where we're, what we're dealing with. Looks like they are down to eight ships from 10. Looks like they still got all their oilers. So I will go ahead and get these guys at the deck and targeting up the enemy because we've got to get them going almost immediately. I think what we're going to do is send two after each of the vessels, uh, the convoy ships, or the freighters, and the rest will go after a heavy cruiser. So I'll go ahead and get them set up and I will return once all that's done. Yes, that's exactly what I planned on doing. I got eight of the Avengers paired up in twos attacking the rest of the convoy ships. I've got the last four attacking the uh, first heavy cruiser and of course they got their zeros attacking us. So let's go ahead and see what we're playing with here. Maybe that'll save some of their lives. I don't know. It's, I feel like I gotta do something here. And in come the zeros. They're starting to become really a thorn on our side. We need to get a battleship and we can bombard their bases and, and nullify this threat that we keep seeing the face here more and more lately. A good angle of them, they're coming right after our lead fighter here, our fighter bomber. Oh, these are being hunted. Drop the bomb. Not gonna make it. Well, already down one Avenger. Still got a lot more to go. That's one torpedo that's not gonna hit home. And that's one pilot that's not gonna make it home. As they come in for more blood, like sharks in the water. I got a taste of blood and they're coming for more. Alright, first flight's got his torps away. Looks like some more are dropping torps now. Looks like we just dropped ours. Get a good angle. Kind of looking back at the fleet here. Yes! 
One, one of the oilers got hit. One cruiser's hit. Ah, oh, we are just messing up their day. Now they're hit. And this heavy cruiser, that looks like a Miyoko class. A Mayoko class. Is, um, well, having a really bad day. She's pretty much dead in the water. It's a really good indicator that uh, damage is uh, beyond what they can repair. Maybe a little angle at it. We got four ships that we've got to blaze. Unfortunately, the uh, sharks are still circling. We've lost over shit, over mm. half of our Avengers. So we paid for it in blood. The Japanese are going to pay for it a little bit more than we are, but still. Yep, there she goes. We got a heavy cruiser, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, that is one Miyoko class heavy.
cruiser as well as a freighter we've got one more freighter that's left on fire hopefully we get this one we'll count the uh, lucky dave well, i'll say lucky we only have all the 12 pilots we sent out when i say 12 pilots these are actually multiple crewed uh, aircraft but of the three or the 12 that we sent out we've only got two that are going to come home so these pilots paid for it in blood mm -hmm. but man they did some damage Hopefully we'll get this last one where we can even add that little scoreboard up a little bit more. And we've got another one. Good. Now the losses that we suffered aren't so, uh, well, they're more acceptable than they were before. But with that one down, they still had one more fighter that was in the area and he was, uh, was attacking, but I think he got wise and said he's had enough for the day. And he headed home. But as for this little ship, she's going to the bottom. I'll catch y'all back on the main map, and we will continue on. All right. The, uh, well, they took heavy losses this time. We've only got two of our torpedo bombers returning to the Hornet. But we have another flight inbound, and hopefully we can get some much-desired vengeance. Because the zeros should not be a threat anymore. And it'll just be these 12 Dauntlesses versus a surface fleet. Which we've only got a few more convoy ships left, if I remember right. Uh, we'll go ahead and take those out. And whatever left we have left over, I think we're going to go ahead and hit that last heavy cruiser. Yep, there she is. Just two freighters left. We'll go ahead and send, thinking three, groups of three after the uh, the freighters here. And then we'll send everything else after Heavy Cruiser. These guys are armed with armor-piercing bomb, a thousand pounder. So, I mean, it's nothing to... It's definitely something you can shake a stick at. So, we will uh, see how it works out. I'm going to go ahead and get these attack orders planned out. And then I will bring you back when we are attacking. Alright, that's everybody queued up and ready to go. Go ahead and get a pretty angle of our flight coming in. See the ships off in the distance. And it's starting to spread out a little bit. These are groups of three, three, and three, and then the four going after the heavy cruiser. Maybe we can get two heavy cruisers, because I'm pretty sure we're going to get these uh, merchant ships taken care of. But we'll see flax starting to come up heavy. Dive bombers are diving that first group is we'll get a better angle on it barely see them in the waves and the second group's diving first part of our group's diving they pulled up good hits good hits here we go good hits again see if we can finish off right already got one nice Alright, Heavy Cruiser did take some damage. Well, I think she just shrugged it right off and said, eh, is that all you got? Well, the merchant ship was done for. But now we have just the oiler. And if we get this ship, we would have gotten the entire convoy aspect of this fleet. All we'll have left is two destroyers and a Heavy Cruiser. Call that a good day. Well, good-ish. Could have been better. Shouldn't have lost so many pilots, but that's war. Anyways, I'll cut back when I have something to report on this oiler. Well, that is one entire convoy crushed. Japanese supplies will not be making it to Guadalcanal in this episode. So I guess we could call this day, uh, episode a success. Well... At least for us, not so much our pilots. But uh, I think I'm probably gonna make it like this ship. I, you know, I it is way past my bedtime. I am up well beyond the waking hours where well, I should be awake. But I couldn't sleep, so I figured I might as well get my butt up, do something productive, instead of just sitting here staring at my ceiling. So, it is what it is. Uh, I will see y'all in the next episode. Hopefully, we won't lose as many pilots. 
and we can do just as much damage if not more but until then i love all y'all peace love tacos all that good stuff and god bless all every single one of y'all laters